वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट क्रिस्टलाइजेशन डिस्टिलेशन एंड सब्लिमेशन नाउ स्टार्ट विथ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन स्टूडेंट्स टू सेपरेट सोल्यूट फ्रॉम इट सोल्यूशन बाई फॉर्मिंग क्रिस्टल्स इज कॉल्ड क्रिस्टलाइजेशन दिस मैथड इज कॉल्ड क्रिस्टलाइजेशन बिकॉज ऑफ सोल्यूट सेपरेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्रिस्टल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉपर सल्फेट क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट we need some quantity of water in the beaker and some quantity of copper sulfate now add some copper sulfate in water and stir it after dissolving add more and more copper sulfate till reach saturated solution means no more copper sulfate can be dissolved after this okay then filter this solution with filter paper to remove impurities and let it cool slowly then after some time you will see some crystals of copper sulfates are formed so in this way we can separate copper sulfate in the form of crystal so this process is called crystallization now next is distillation students the process of purifying a liquid by the process of heating and cooling is called distillation you can also say the process of purifying a liquid by the process of evaporation and condensation is called distillation for example water cycle students in the water cycle process what some quantity of water from rivers ponds seas lakes etc are converts into vapor and vapor because of lighter portion because of light weight they goes upside and there because of less temperature they again converts into clouds and small droplets of water so after this they again come to the earth in the form of rain so in this process water converts into vapor because of evaporation and again vapor converts into water because of condensation so in this way we can say the process of a purifying liquid by the process of evaporation and condensation is called distillation now there is one more example of distillation separation of salt from sea water in this experiment okay put some the salt solution in a conical flask and heat it then vapor which comes out of the glass tube collect in the test tube kept in ice and after some time it changes into droplets because of ice because of less temperature so in this way salt is left in conical flask so in this way we can separate salt from solution this is also called distillation method and the last is sublimation students the process in which the substance turns to the gaseous state without showing liquid state and on cooling also it again comes to the solid state without showing liquid state for example i am taking ammonium chloride and heat it after heating it turns into gaseous state without showing liquid state and on cooling it again come to the solid state without showing liquid state so in this way this type of method is called sublimation method thank you